Hey guys, I've just got like a really quick tutorial on how to render like really easily and at high qualities and just it's just a really good way and it's um the way I'm doing it all the time now. So basically it's using Adobe Media Encoder, which is what you would use in After Effects, what actually does render and premiere and things like that, but you're opening the actual program. So basically the first thing you want to do is um have a composition that you're gonna render from. So I've got multiple ones uh, at the moment, but I'm going to render the main composition. And what you want to do, if it's the composition is too long, um, make the work area, which is these um, these uh, bars, the orange bars, make them where you want to render. So basically, I've chosen that. Now, what we want to do is go to our start menu, type encoder in, and you'll get Adobe Media Encoder. Depending on which one, uh, which programs you have, CS5, CS6, whichever one you have, just pick the the highest number. And then we'll get this program up. Basically, what we want to do is click Add, and then we can go to our Find Our Project, and I've got it in here. And then it'll come up with all the different folders and things like that. If you've only got one um, uh, one composition, that's easy; it'll be there. But find your composition that you want to use, and I've got mine main. Here we go. Then we click the preset up the top where there's the orange text. Click that. Then we can select that we want to. Down the bottom, there's source range, and if you want the entire composition or work area, or even you want to do custom and drag these arrows to where you want it, we want work area. Then what we do is go up the top, make sure you've got H.264, go to your preset. If you've got HD footage, then you want 720p or 1080p, and if you're exporting to YouTube, just go HD 720p, 29.97 high quality. And now I've got that. Pick our output, save it wherever you want to do it. Export video, export audio should be ticked. And then all we have to do is go OK, then select Start Queue. And that's it. That's all you have to do. If you want to, um, even in this program, you can even re render videos and uh, reformat them or change the format, whatever you want to do. Once you've picked it, just hit Add and it's all good. And you can just uh, put more than one in there. So if you want to render multiple projects and, and different compositions, it's just really easy. It makes it really small and it's high quality, ready to render straight to YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's been really helpful to me when uh, someone told me how to do this. So hopefully, if you have a problem with having massive renders when uh, massive like file sizes when you're trying to get good quality, this is a really good solution. Okay, I'll see you guys and hope you enjoyed it and I'll be bringing out lots of videos very soon.